listening in, guys. They've been patio man by the shed today. Looks so good. Looks so much better. Like it's so nice to sort of start, even though it's not finished, just like walking on that and not getting sort of covered in mud each time. But they're also building a wall out the front as well. And that's coming on really well as well. So it's just, yeah, so much stuff's been going on around here. Anyway, I'm in the main office at the moment and um, I was gonna show you something about the little computer. Right, so I've got Ubuntu running in there now, um, Ubuntu Linux. And um, yeah, it's all working pretty well. There's a few little um, few little hacks and bits and pieces you have to do to actually get it to, to run properly. Um, like sound doesn't work by default, Wi-Fi doesn't work by default. There's a couple of little bits you have to like, you know, adjust, but it's working really well. It's actually really impressive. Like it's absolutely fine. I've just been, you know, putting on a few few different packages and um, setting it up for kind of network analysis, things like that. But it actually makes for a pretty good tool because you basically got full version of Ubuntu on it. Um, and a number of times I just want to kind of, you know, access some stuff or use this, connect it to something else. And, you know, for what I do with the embedded computers, and normally you've got to basically just fire up like a virtual machine or something on another, um, on like the Mac or something. And so for this, you can just grab this and you just basically, computer's good to go. Anyway, that wasn't exactly what I was going to show you. I'm going to show you something in Windows, uh, which a few of you will be interested in, I'm sure. So if we just boot it into Windows, so you just boot it up like normal, hold the power button down, and in a minute. So Windows is booted. Right, I'm just going to connect some stuff to the, um, to the little computer and show you something. Right, so let's explain what's actually happening here. So I've got a bit of software on here called SDR Sharp and I've got a SDR dongle, which is a USB device. This is a hub. I'm just connected into the USB thing because the USB socket on the back of this is actually quite tight. Um, and this SDR radio dongle won't actually plug straight into the back of it. So I'm having to use this hub. It's not ideal, but it, it kind of works. And now I've just got like a little antenna on the, uh, screwed directly onto the end of it. So that gives you basically like an SDR receiver, tiny SDR receiver. Um, and you can basically tune around on here. That's the frequency at the top. If you're interested in this, there's loads of videos about SDR. Get onto, um, just get onto YouTube and just, just search SDR. There's so much stuff. But anyway, yeah, so you can basically do this. But the, the reason I wanted to try this is because A, it's just really, really small um, SDR receiver, which you can basically take anywhere. Um, and also you can actually decode digital signals as well. Now I'm gonna try and do that now. And um, yeah, hopefully we can actually do it on this um, little box. I haven't tried this yet. Okay, so I think it was a little bit too ambitious to try and do this like on a tiny little antenna in the room here and try and pick up some DMR signals like from the airport or something. Um, so really what I should do is go into the um, go into the workshop and just connect it to the big antenna. But I have got this little, um, I have got this little radio here. So this is a DMR one. So let's see if I can decode that. So you can see when I key up, there's the signal there. But um, what we need to do is feed the output of this into a digital decoder. All right guys, managed to get it working. So basically I've tuned to the same frequency as my radio. Um, actually this is slightly off. I think that might be just a little bit of offset there. Um, but it seems to be working. I don't know if you can see this is a bit small. Um, but I've unchecked a little box which says filter audio. This in the background I've got running this DSD, which I've done videos on before. So we're piping the signal from the SDR, like an audio signal, straight out of here. I'm using like a um, virtual cable, like an audio cable thing, um, to go into DSD, which is running um, here. You can see this behind there. Um, yeah, so this squiggly line here is basically just the kind of visual representation of what the audio um, is looking like. So, you know, it will be just basically like loads of noise. Um, until you get the radio, um, radio over here. I won't do it too close to, to this because it's gonna interfere with it otherwise, to be too close. Um, so we just key up on the radio. And you can see up here, I don't know if you can see this. If you look in this, if you look at this little window here, it will show my idea of my radio. There you go, popping up. So take it one step further, you can just actually talk into the radio and the computer will decode it. Check this out, I'll turn the volume up a bit. All right. Testing one, two. Testing one, two. So how cool is that? Completely software defined radio decoding DMR actually in a little box. And we've got that big other icon receiver that basically does this, well it doesn't even do that. So, um, so just this little setup 
um, can enable you to, well, do all sorts of stuff. Right, can I take your piece code, please? Right, I've had a nightmare. The engineer for the fridge turned up because our fridge is basically broken. Um, it's just not working at all. This little switch here is basically intermittent. It just feels terrible. I don't even know what is going on with this thing. Um, so the engineer's come and he's basically said that he can't get apart until Thursday. So we're now we're stuck without a fridge for another two days. <sighs> Just taking the dogs for a walk, they've been stuck in all day. Don't you just hate it when you're trying to do something and like everything just cascades at once and you just end up like completely just like, I don't know, I was trying to catch up on some work and then like the engineer for the washing machine, no, the fridge came and then the hot tub guys came because there's something to do with that, they need to look at. It's just like crazy. And then we got the guys out at the front doing the wall. Super mild today though, I can't believe how warm it feels. It's like the end of September, probably in a t-shirt. Right, we had to abandon the walk because this one didn't want to do it. Aww. Chip the spider out. That is a big one. I feel like we've had them inside the house as well. Every hour I'm having to flick that switch on that fridge just to keep it on. A bit crazy around here, I need to have a little sort out. I need to also put the screws back in this, I was trying to take this apart. That's another little device that runs on the same CPU as, um, or system on a chip as these little ones. When I was younger, I always used to basically just take apart electronics and then never put them back together again. Just like rip them apart, see what was inside, and then I got kind of bored and just left them apart. So my, my bedroom as a kid was just full of just half opened electronics and it was always like a running joke of my dad who was just like, oh yeah, take it apart, you never put it back together again. Old habits die hard. Anyway guys, I've noticed that um, one of the videos has gone a little bit crazy recently. Um, one of the first e-bike ones that I did of the actual bike, well, basically this bike here, um, before it really looked like that, um, it was one of the kind of first videos and it's got like over 100,000 views now or something, so it's just absolutely nuts. But I've noticed that it's, I don't know, there's like been a spike of traffic or something like that. Um, so I think maybe we've picked up quite a few subscribers off of that. So hi to you guys if you've kind of come along from that video and you're thinking, hang on a minute. Basically like we just cover everything on this channel. Like there's quite a wide variety of stuff on here. So just persevere because there will be some more stuff on the e-bike. As I say, um, it's everything's going well with the e-bike. So I've put this mud hugger, mud guard back on again. Um, so I took it off originally just while I was trying to, you know, sort the stand out. Um, so this is back on because it's getting a bit wet out there now, a bit muddy. So it's nice to have nice to have a bit of uh, protection against the spray. But other than that, bike's going well. Um, I've got a bit of an issue with the front brake, uh, not the front brake, the rear brake. This is feeling really, really tight, and it's not actually biting on the um, on the caliper, which is a bit of a pain. I need to have a look at this. I'm not really sure what the issue is, if anyone's got any um, clues to that. So it's really tight here, and um, it's just not biting on the back at all, but um, we'll have to have a look. I've got um, I've got regen braking um, on the switch, on the lever here, so, you know, it's not the end of the world. That's actually really pretty strong, that brake, so you can use that. And it does, it does brake a little bit on the rear um, from the lever, but that with the regen, and it will just stop the bike perfectly. And if you need to like slam on the brakes, you just obviously yank on the front. But yeah, everything's good with that. It's going pretty well. I'm getting so much attention on it. Like there's been so many people asking questions about the bike every time I take it out. But yeah, there's been loads of comments on the videos. Just I'm quite, quite baffled by the amount of negative comments on there as well. I don't know what it's all about, but um, yeah, it's just, just one of those things. I think you can't please everyone. But for me, um, this particular bike, I built this for a reason, which is to learn more about kind of electric transportation and and all of that stuff. So for me, it's actually a transportation device, not not something which I'm going to try and get fit on. But yeah, if you're new to the channel, um, welcome. And there's going to be loads more e-bike stuff coming up and the electric sort of side of things. It's a big part of this channel, um, but we kind of do loads of other things as well. Anything, anything sort of technical, electronic or electrical. Yeah, it's it's all kind of here. So. Yeah, stay tuned for that. Anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap it up now. It's getting late. And um, 
I'll catch you in the next video.